What's up guys, ArmFH here, and I'm back again to bring you guys some more Nintendo Switch news. Uh, we got the press release here, so we're going to go over the press release real quick, and then we're going to jump into the analysis, and I've also got uh, another press release from NVIDIA talking about the Tegra chip that's in the actual uh, portable unit for the Nintendo Switch. So... Right here is the press release, and they're basically just going over uh, a little more in-depth of the things that come with the console, um, just the, the, you know, a more in-depth look at what to expect with this new home gaming console. Um, it looks like we're going to be getting um, more single-player and multiplayer thrills at home. The Nintendo Switch system also enables gamers to play the same title whenever, wherever, and with whomever they choose. The mobility of the, of the handheld is now added to the power of a home gaming console system to enable unprecedented new video gameplay styles. I am, for one, so stoked about this. Now, it's unclear whether or not the Nintendo Switch is going to be replacing the 3DS. Uh, Nintendo has stated that they are going to be um, uh, supporting the 3DS until 2018. So uh, they may be coming out with another handheld. They may not. This may be their console handheld hybrid. Um, and I mean, it is their console handheld hybrid, but this might just be their, their handheld that they're going to go with. And we're going to start getting games like Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I don't know if it's going to be straight up, um, only Pokemon like mobile game, like on the 3DS, like it is, uh, now with the 3DS, or if it's going to be something that you can plug into your home docking unit and play on your big screen. I don't see why they would leave that out, but you never know. They might want to uh, create separate games, so home console games and mobile games, and you can only play the mobile games on the go. But it's all up in the air for right now until we get more information. Now, I do believe we are going to be getting more information, probably price uh, details, maybe even pre-orders next week. Uh, they are having an investors meeting next week, I believe on Wednesday. So we will get more information on the specs and all that type of stuff next week. Um, just to skim over the press release a little bit more, um, it looks like the uh, controller units uh, are called uh, Joy-Con, uh, Joy-Con controller units. So the two side units that you pull off are uh, called Joy-Con controllers. And then um, the actual controller that you, the, the basically uh, modular controller that you can take the two Joy-Cons off is called the Joy-Con grip. Um, I really like that idea, but I do like the fact that they're going to be uh, releasing a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Uh, really excited about that. And I'm really hoping that they just stick with what they have for the Nintendo Switch and don't do any backward compatibility stuff. Uh, the Wii U Pro controller shouldn't be compatible with this thing. That's my own personal opinion. I know there's a lot of people out there that want that to happen. Um, but I think they need to get as far away from the Wii U or the Wii branding as they can. And like you guys see, Nintendo Switch, I mean, come on, Switch. They're trying to get away from that Wii U name. So, um, or Wii name. Um, and as we can see here, here's a small list of all of the third-party uh, support this console is going to get. Now, I'm not too sure... Um, how this third party support is going to go. Uh, it's looking, I mean, we've seen Skyrim earlier in the trailer and stuff like that, but I mean, this could go many different ways. It could go the route of the Wii U and fall apart the first year, or it could be very su successful and we could get even more third party support. These are only a few of them and a few of them that I'm excited about Ubisoft, um, Square Enix, uh, Sega, of course, but Sega is almost a given. They've been working with Nintendo for years. Um, let's see, Capcom, Capcom 2, Bethesda, um, who else, uh, let's see here, uh, From Software, right there, um, I'm stoked to see any of the Dark Souls games on this console, I mean, being able to take Dark Souls on the go, oh my gosh, uh, but this thing can be tailored to anything, um, that the devs want to tailor it to. So, you know, you can get games like, uh, let's see, 
um, Dark Souls and they can add certain things to it. I doubt they'll do that, but um, it would be pretty cool if they if they did do that. So, you know, you go and take a Dark Souls game on the go and instead of having to sign in through the online um, service that Dark Souls offers to be able to link up with somebody, you can just go and meet somebody at their house and link up there. I doubt that will be the case. They'll probably just port it over just like they did uh, for a few of the other consoles and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just so, so stoked to see this much third party support, uh, right off the bat. So, and there's more coming. That's just a, you know, a rough list. Um, so let's move on to the NVIDIA gaming, um, uh, press release that they put out, um, right here. We can see more details on what exactly, uh, the, the Nintendo switch has inside of it. So it has a custom Tegra chip which I'm pretty stoked for. I mean, this thing already looks like it's going to have pretty good performance um, on par with a PS4 or Xbox One on the home console side. And then on the mobile side, it, I mean, it looks way better than any handheld console that's out right now. Um, I mean, unless you want to compare the PS Vita, which was a complete flop for Sony. Um, now, I've heard rumors that Sony's coming out with a handheld console for the PS4 Pro, but I mean... I haven't looked into that too much, so there's not a mu not much to back that up. Um, you know, they, they could have already announced it. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. I've been all over the NX, or the uh, NS, actually, the Nintendo Switch. So it's got a custom Tegra processor. Uh, the high-efficiency, scalable processor includes um, an NVIDIA GPU uh, based on the same architecture as the world's top performing GeForce gaming graphics cards. And I'm an NVIDIA guy, so I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, the Switch is a gaming... The S S Nintendo Switch's gaming experience is also supported by fully custom software, including a revamped physics engine, new libraries, advanced game tools, and libraries. NVIDIA additionally created new gaming... Uh, IPs to fully harness this performance. Oh, APIs. Sorry. I can't read today. I'm just overwhelmed with excitement. I can't even freaking read. The newest API, NVN, was built specifically to bring lightweight, fast gaming to the masses. So, I mean, this thing is built to be powerful. Um, it's built to to be a mobile mobile uh, console hybrid. So uh, expect it to be something comparable to a PS4 or Xbox One in the in in that range somewhere. I mean, I'm sure it's probably a little bit underpowered compared to the two. We still don't know if the actual docking unit actually uh, uh, powers up the home console experience even more or not. We don't know that yet. Uh, there's still a few things out there that we don't know. Uh, we optimize the full uh, suit of har hardware and software for gaming and mobile use cases. This includes custom operating system integration with GPUs to increase both performance and efficiency. So, I mean, this thing is going to be a powerhouse for a console handheld hybrid, home console handheld hybrid. So, um, I mean, expect this thing to be pretty damn good um, and, you know... As we can see, they've already they're going to be porting Skyrim over to it. Um, so and and it looks like a remastered version. So I mean, this thing is going to be able to handle uh, some pretty good uh, graphics on it. Uh, now let's let's go ahead and move over to the actual uh, trailer, and we'll go ahead and dive into this. I'll go ahead and uh, put that in full screen mode for you guys. So you know, like before, we're in this dude's house he's playing some breath of the wild it looks freaking awesome now i don't preferably like how big that looks looks fairly big in the back i don't know how that's gonna feel in your hands it almost looks like there's grips on the on the back of it so instead of the gamepad being like on the wii u it was flat and then it had the the um shelf on the back that you know you can put your fingers around this thing actually has controller grips so i don't know how that's going to feel with the with a tablet on the other side of it it could feel funky it could not i'm only guessing that it feels comfortable or else i wouldn't have gone with the design but man breath of the wild looks insane i mean it looks magnificent on <laughs> on this console as we can see right here this is a joy con uh con controller grips um let me see 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Joy-Con. Yeah, Joy-Con. The Joy-Con controller grips right there. Um, whoops. Let's go back here. All right. Okay, so here's the home console itself. Uh, as you can see, the tablet is is docked in the docking unit, and it's got the Nintendo Switch name, of course. And then uh, over here, we can see a couple USB ports, it looks like, and, you know, the power button. Um, and it's got a little uh, display thing right here. So I'm only guessing this is just a peripheral to be able to... Uh, get it up onto your TV, but we have no clue yet. We don't know if this thing actually has added support. So right here, uh, we have the Joy-Con uh, controller grips, um, and this can be, you know, the Joy-Con controllers can be detached from this and then placed onto the actual tablet. But as you guys can notice right here, uh, there's these little uh, green light-up LEDs. Now, I don't know how this thing's going to be battery powered wise, but it seems that these uh, Joy-Con controllers actually have uh, separate uh, batteries on them, if I'm not mistaken, because if you look right here, the green light is on either side. Uh, I can't, can't go back. Let's see if I can go back a little tad bit more. There we go. Okay. And as you can see, there's two green uh, spots on the other side for uh, uh Possibly saying fully charged. I'm, I'm assuming it's saying fully charged uh, here with the green and, and they go down. So, you know, at the bottom was probably red and, you know, moving from orange ye uh, yellow to orange to red um, throughout this thing while they die. Uh, but that makes it makes perfect sense that these are both separate um, batteries that are in either one of them because you can split them and play uh, uh, co-op with somebody or play two player on Mario Kart. Uh, so I think that's a smart idea, and it might actually save battery life for the tablet itself if the controllers are battery-powered themselves. So we could get a lot more battery life out of this thing than a normal uh, handheld, uh, seeing as the handheld itself, the tablet, isn't powering the joysticks. Um, and then as we can see here, he takes this thing out on the go, and he's playing some more Breath of the Wild. And what it looks like to be... Um, a mixture of a moblin and a bokoblin here. Uh, Link go he goes ahead and, and uh, uses the uh, paraglider to glide over into the center of this um, this little island with this moblin slash bokoblin uh, creature sitting here. Um, and then he shoot goes ahead and shoots him with what it looks like a bomb arrow. Uh, but man, this thing it can't be a moblin because it's got one eye. It's a cyclops of sorts. So. And it's so much bigger than any Moblin we've seen other than in Ocarina of Time, which that dude was just insanely big. Um, and then it looks like he's got some type of medallion. And any, for any of you Zelda fans that are following my channel, you know I do a lot of Zelda theories. Um, too bad they didn't give us enough information on, on this freaking uh, boss right here for us to make any theories about it but this looks very similar to the um sheikah tablet uh the and the sheikah shrines that are all over the place it's got the same orange glow as the deactivated uh shrines um and stuff like that now i don't know if this has any connection to it or what but i guess we'll find out later it looks like some kind of charm uh let's let's go ahead and move on here so now, now we're coming to a, a point where they're going to show off the new cartridges. Cartridges, no more discs, guys. Um, I'm very happy about this only because of the fact that disc scratch, I have I don't have a lot of problems with it. As long as you keep them in your case, they're going to be fine. But disc scratch, they break really easily. Um, you know, I, I'm sure these cartridges can hold the same amount, if not more, um, than a disc can. Uh, but at this point, I think Nintendo made the right move by going back to cartridges. It's going to save parents money uh, because kids love to destroy things. And, and discs are something that kids just love to tear up. I mean, I have little brothers and sisters and, and I don't know how many games I've had destroyed because of them in the past when I was younger and stuff like that. So um, these cartridges last a lot longer. I've never in my whole entire time I've been in, you know, into gaming, I've never had a cartridge breakdown on me unless you're counting N64 days when you'd had, you used to have to blow in the cartridge to get it to work. But anyways, we got the uh, confirmation for cartridges right here. 
Um, and now we're going to go over into the next portion of this where they're going to show us that you can actually take the Joy-Con controllers off and still use the tablet as a screen to play your games. This is just amazing. Um, now, I'm sure if you brought the grip with you, you'd be able to use that instead of just sitting there with both almost looking like we we nunchucks. Um, but anyways, and we see uh, here the the uh, pro controller that that is going to be uh, either sold separately with the console or comes with the console. I'm gonna go out on a limb and uh, say that I I think it's gonna be coming out for um, as a separate piece that you have to buy, just like the Wii U Pro controller. It's not gonna come with a console. I uh, highly doubt it. If it does, it's gonna be priced higher. Um, you know, stuff like that. So they're probably just gonna sell it with the Joy-Con uh, grip and the tablet and then the home dock. Um, who knows, they might sell it with the Pro Controller, but I'm going to say that they're not going to. Um, that is actually pretty cool because then you can, you know, if you don't prefer the, the Joy-Con grip thing, you can switch over to the Pro Controller if you feel like it. Also, uh, you guys have seen the clips of Skyrim already, um, and, it, and it looks remastered. So it looks it looks like it's, it's, it's going to look a lot better than it did on Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, now I can only assume that since uh, Bethesda is going to be coming out for it with with the the Nintendo uh, Switch, they're probably going to be coming out with it for the PS4 and the Xbox One. But that's you know that's besides the fact here. We're all about Nintendo Switch right now. Now we can see uh, them bringing it on the go in the back of this van here, and he slides it into this this case on the side of the headrest. And uh, these two are going at it in Mario Kart 8. This could either be Mario Kart 8 or it's a brand new Mario Kart. I'm not too sure. I know in Mario Kart 8, you don't have two separate item slots here. Um, and uh, what is this? King Boo? Um, I don't think he's in Mario Kart 8. I've, I haven't played in a while, uh, but I don't think he's in Mario Kart 8. And as you can see, they're both playing with the two uh, Joy-Con controllers uh, split up. So you can share your Joy-Con controllers. And I do like the way, if you guys haven't noticed... Um, this is actually, I believe, the D-pad over here. Um, and then this would be the um, A and B controller over here. So you have your D-pad that's, that's set up the same way as it is over here. So you can use it like a normal controller on the other side instead of it being set up like a D-pad. I kind of like that. I kind of don't like that. Uh, it's, it's really going to come down to how it, how it feels in my hands when I play with it and everything. Um, now, right here, uh, this is really interesting. I like this uh, a lot. They're bringing in more of the uh, mobile gaming aspect, where, where like, just like on the 3DS, where you, or the Game Boy, where you can um, connect your consoles and play together. Uh, they're showing that you can play up to four people, if not more, um, on the actual tablet and be able to connect with other people to play more players. Um, and and if they're going to be bringing that to, like, this is NBA uh, whatever. I don't play a lot of sports games. So NBA 2K16, 2K17, I don't know. Um, right here, they're able to play this full game multiplayer, attack, you know, uh, through infrared or whatever. Um, if you want to go that route, I don't know what they're using here to connect these two. Uh, but it, I'm sure it's similar to how the the 3DS works. Um, but it's a full game. I mean, it's not a 3DS mobile game or anything like that. It's a full game that you can most likely play at home. Um, now it's just this is just showing off more of what we've already seen. Uh, as we can see here, this is a brand new Mario game. It could be a concept, could not be a concept. And actually, I didn't notice this before. We see some amiibo in the background. Now I was wondering. Uh, how this thing is going to work with Amiibo. Now, the faceplate on this um, Joy-Con grip may be an NFC pad, uh, so you can you can place your Amiibo on this pad and it will register the Amiibo. Um, it doesn't say anything about that. You know, on the Wii U, they actually have a square, so you know where to put your Amiibo, um, but they could have moved away from that. 
Uh, same thing, it could be something that's uh, peripheral that you buy later and you can dock them near your home console, um, kind of like how they're sitting up there right now. Um, and it might even be that you place it on the tablet screen to be able to move your amiibo. Um, but this is just more stuff we've already seen. She's bringing out to go and play with her friends and stuff like that. Um, now, this is where it gets really interesting. Um, Nintendo has been big in esports for like Splatoon and, and Smash Bros and stuff like that in the past. And now they're going to be able to expand on this even more. And it might even branch out into other esports like uh, FIFA and, and even Call of Duty. Um, where they do they do stuff like that. Um, now I wouldn't see any Call of Duty fan uh, liking uh, enjoying playing on a screen this small for Call of Duty, but uh, you never know. It, it can definitely help out when you don't have a lot of equipment and you know um, they're setting you up in a room and all you have is your Nintendo Switch and everybody's got a Nintendo Switch and everything. Uh, it's it's a lot easier to set up and and actually strategize um, what you're going to do next. Um, and as we can see, while you're on the tablet screen there, you can use the actual uh, Pro Controller as seen right here. This guy's playing with the Pro Controller on the actual tablet screen. So you don't have to use the Joy-Con controllers for that. Um, and it looks like the Joy-Con controllers can be plugged in while you're using the Pro Controller. Um, I don't know how that's going to work, but... Anyways, guys, that has been the end of this analysis trailer. Um, it's come in March... March 2017, I'm so stoked. It's going to be my birthday, so it's going to be one of the best birthday presents I've had in a very long time. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch. Let me know um, what you guys are most excited for. Let me know what games you guys would like to see out for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, anyways, you guys all have a good one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.